Hello there guys, it's Don't Chewy Chewy here, and today we're back with another Minecraft video. Today I've got a showcase Sunday for you guys, and a bit different today. I'm going to be showing you some steampunk builds, as you can see behind me, and I'm also going to show you around kind of the builds that I do in my spare time on the BXP server. But we'll come to all the BXP stuff at the end, because there's some cool news. So, let's go and check out the builds. So the main ones I want to show... There are these dirt huts, like look at these dirt huts, they are so good. Um, that's the proudest build. I really like how I have a, like a little porch, you know, it's a house that I made for a build called PC. Nah, I'm joking. These dirt houses are monstrosity and someone has defiled my land. However, we are looking at these. These are kind of brick roofed steampunk houses with bedrock in the wall. <laughs> so, I'll uh, take you through my fort. I kind of thought of um, so a steampunk build on some islands, so you know like the floating islands that you get. I kind of thought, oh, it had like wheat fields around it. I don't know why, but the brick really just kind of said kind of nature and for some reason nature and you know like wheat and stuff. I don't know. But as you can see on this build right here, got no door, no floor, no window there. Uh, but you know, first floor. Pretty simple, usual kind of thing with my builds, you know, no windows, so I've got to put them in. You know, pretty pretty normal for me to, uh, even my medieval builds start like this, you know, you, you get your wood, and you get all your kind of stone for the windows, you put decoration in here eventually, and you have the stone that causes the logs. And then as we go up, it gets a bit, a bit more crazy. So, as you can see, we're using the kind of same blocks, we're using the wool and the spruce for decoration, however, the house just kind of keeps going, and it it got to this point. And I was like, oh, "This looks a bit silly." So I added an extra roof here. Then we added this that kind of intersects this roof here, like peak like this, and sticks out from the top. And we got this little light here, so that when he comes out his door, he can see. And as we go up, got to this point, I was like, "Let's add a windmill." So we've got this little tower with a um, pretty big flag, decent little flag, and. Um, using the blue windows, got a little tower, and on the other side, chimney, and a massive, massive windmill to um, get all the wind, I guess, and power these furnaces and stuff that are keeping him warm in his house. So if you look at it from this angle, I think this is probably his best angle to look at it from. Uh, build's not 100% finished. Uh, as I said, there's little things missing that I'm just lazy, so I just sometimes forget to do the little things when making new concepts. As you can see, we've got chimneys, windmills, flags, bricks, wood. Bit different to my usual style. I, know, but I was wondering what you guys thought of it. Do you mean, would you like to see a let's build in this kind of style? Maybe, obviously, a bit smaller than this. Um, but yeah, let me know. Steampunk style. We've got this little house over here as well. This is, That's kind of like a, a farmhouse, you know. Kind of... Um, a utility house. This is kind of just a normal house, or maybe a upper class house, because it is pretty big when you compare it to that, which has got a tower and a windmill. And you think this is just actually going to be someone's house or a residence. Uh, it is pretty massive. Uh, you've got this massive support pillar here, which uh, keeps up the intersection for this house, which is a bit different to the other. As, uh, as you can see, it comes out this way as well. It's not just one block. It's kind of like two intersections in the roof if you, if we can just take a look, which I think we can. So yeah, we got it here. Here's the main roof, these two here. And then we've got these logs coming out, and then from these logs we've got more house, more peaks. Once again a cool little flag on top. A bit smaller this time. Uh, another, another two um, chimneys, just just chucking the chimneys in there, you know, and uh, a lot of leaves. But I do, I do like this. I like the um, kind of perimeter roof that goes around these builds. I think that looks, and um, I'm my own harshest critic when it comes to building, but I think that looks kind of nice uh, when, like the way it goes around. this. adding stuff like that is always a really nice way to add detail to your build in a small fashion. But yep, there's two styles we're checking out of this video. So uh, let me know what do you think of this style, the steampunk style. Would you like to see maybe a smaller house? Like maybe um maybe just kind of like that, but obviously I'd have to come up with something cool. So let me know if you want a, a tutorial on this kind of style because I kind of like style. 
Uh, but now we've got a style that I spent, as you can see, a long, long time on. It's not that desert style. I, I got a lot of flack for that one as building people didn't really like it. Uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial on that one day. I kind of like it. Uh, but we got this medieval rustic style, kind of my signature style really. We've got a clock tower, which I'm going to do a tutorial on because a lot, a lot of people have asked for it. Um, and if you watch my latest, or my last showcase Sunday, you'll realise these builds are uh, from that build. So I am going to go over very quickly. The main thing of this video is showing you the steampunk style. But as you can see, this is them kind of out in the open. Very detailed, very wooden. Some people honestly might argue a bit, a bit too detailed, you know bit too many uh, planks, but I really like it. Uh, we have got a, it's the blacksmith, the blacksmith slash smelters. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure what that was going to be in the end. Uh, tanners here, uh, small house, which I may have done a tutorial on. More of kind of like an abandoned shack of all the leaves, you know. So yeah, that's cool. And we also have this little house. Now, there's a couple of houses here that you might recognise. I didn't do this one however, I did a tutorial on this little house here which was a little shop and did a tutorial on this which is my tiny windmill tutorial all tutorials are on my channel if you just search around and search them up if you want to go and check them out and uh, this house, one of my favourites to be honest, is um, kind of like almost mansion like I kind of had it as um, upper class in my mind but can I look at the size of it, it is upper class to be honest it is absolutely massive. If you want to check out any of the interiors of these builds though, there are some interiors of these. Uh, go check out my last Showcase Sunday and uh, you'll see some of the interiors of these. But the main thing of this video is to show off this Steampunk style because I really like this. Um, recently got back in BXB so I guess I'll quickly talk about this. Uh, BXB has reopened or come back together I guess. Uh, and if you want to join you can, you can apply for the building right now, we're still accepting applicants all the time so you need to go to block by block games on YouTube, that's their URL name and there's a video that's just like sign up and it's like six minutes long and all the instructions are there so maybe I'll even see you on the server, that'd be pretty cool seeing some people on the server it's uh, kinda quiet now because everyone's American and it's like midday for me in UK Anyway, let me know if you guys want to see some of these tutorials. Let me know and uh, maybe I could get one done for you guys because I do like this style. It would be nice to have like a proper tutorial on the channel. But yeah guys, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see some of these builds, make sure to that like button down below because if this video gets a lot of likes, I know you guys are really into the style and then I'll definitely do a tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you think of the style. Maybe you have some improvements that you could make. Maybe some little things gripes that you don't like or maybe you want to see you know that tutorial and uh maybe you want to see more tutorials on this medieval style so let me know in the comments down below I always reply to you guys as long as google lets me and make sure to subscribe to be notified whenever i upload a video i think i'm going to be alternating one sunday a tutorial one sunday a showcase sunday so that's gonna be cool so next week will be tutorial so and so forth but yeah like subscribe and I forgot the last one. My mind just went to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.